All right, welcome to another episode of Over the Counter Archery in Arizona. This is Yuma Outfitter. Please subscribe if you have not already. We're going to be discussing the overall results of the threshold method in the early season archery hunt. All right, this is the August 24th to September 8th hunt where uh, we're doing the threshold method to begin with this year. And we're just going to look at those results. Uh, it is October 7th. It's a little bit late in the game. But I just wanted to give the Game and Fish a little bit of time to verify their numbers, to make sure everything is perfect. And uh, I did record on September 21st. They had, uh, I think it was 671 deer that were killed. And then now on Oct October 7th, today, I uh, punched in the numbers here and they have 672 deer. So uh, there was one deer added in that time frame between September 21st to October 7th. Uh, somebody must have reported a little late. I think you, they only give you like 48 hours to report, but they still reported. So we're gonna we're gonna go over the numbers. We're gonna show you guys what units are closed down, and then we're gonna do kind of a comparison and contrast of uh, how it looked in the regulations in 20 to 2021, and kind of what units shut down, and kind of do a comparison and contrast on that. So again, subscribe if you have not already. We do everything hunting and fishing in the lower southwest of Arizona around Yuma. Uh, we are, we're guides, we go out, we'll go out fishing, hunting, and all that stuff around here. There's plenty of opportunity all across the whole state. So thank you for watching and God bless. Okay, so to begin with, Let's just take a recap. Again, this is updated on 10-7, uh, right here on 9-21, September 21st. I updated it at 16-30, which is 4-30. They had 691 deer counted, and they went ahead and added that on October 7th, sometime between the 21st and October 7th. They added to 692 being, deer being killed. So, these are the units that are closed down. You can see unit one was 151% of the deer in that unit were killed, they went over. Again, if you haven't been up to date with what's going on with the regulations um, and how it all works with the threshold method, if the limit or the quota is met on a Monday, let's say, at 35 deer in unit one being killed, hunters still have until Wednesday to harvest a deer legally. So that's where you're seeing that surplus of deer being killed in that unit. They don't just close the unit all the way down. It's a good thing. It makes it so that hunters aren't being put in a tough position of uh, having the unit closed without them knowing. Uh, they know they can check in on Wednesdays and they're good up until Wednesday. So uh, it's a really cool thing the Game and Fish did for them. Uh, that's super easy for hunters, makes it easier for us. Um, but that's why you're seeing that influx. That's why you're seeing 151% of deer being killed in that unit. So we got unit 1 is closed down, unit 3B is closed down. I say unit, but I really need to be saying hunts because technically some of these units are still open for coos deer hunting for over-the-counter archery. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Some units are completely closed down, but some of them are considered hunts because they have multiple species you can take in that unit. So. Unit 1 is closed down though, 3B is closed, 5A and 5B is closed, 6A is closed for mule deer, see that's what I'm talking about, 6A is open still for whitetail, alright, we have 20, they've killed 13 in that unit, 6B for mule deer is closed down, still open for whitetail, unit 7 and 9 are completely closed, 8 is closed for mule deer, still have plenty of whitetail to be taken in that area. Unit 24A is closed for mule deer, still plenty plenty of mule deer able to be killed in that unit. 27, Unit 27 is closed down for mule deer, except for whitetail is still open, there's still plenty of whitetail to be taken in that unit. And that's it. So those are all the units uh, or hunts that are closed down. If they do it again next year, Okay, if the same thing happens again next year, all these units that you're looking at and all these hunts that we're looking at that are closed right now, the Game and Fish have three options, I think, if I can remember right. It is they'll shut the unit completely down, they'll go to a draw system, or they'll change the season dates. Those are the three options that they have. And uh, we'll be able to see in the next, when we do a comparison with the year before, what they're probably going to do, which is close down, in my opinion, it's either going to be a draw on some of these units or they're going to completely close them down. I don't see them switching the season dates.
but they might. So anyway, let's take a look over here. This is the total number of hunts that are closed down, which is nine. Uh, we have to meet our 20% or the amount of deer that the Game and Fish have given us is 3,035 deer. There has been a total of 692 deer taken. That is a 22% of our total goal towards uh, 3,035. You really saw the big majority of these deer being harvested in the very first week of August in early season archery. And in my opinion, things are going to slow down. I don't think we're going to meet that fast of a threat uh, of the percentage of success again. I think in my opinion, it's pretty awesome. I think I don't think we're going to reach the 3000 number. I I honestly don't think we're going to reach it. Um I could be wrong, but I mean, that is good news for hunters. That is good news for archery hunters that uh, it, it's not as fast as, as some people expected the, the threshold to be fulfilled right away. And, uh, you know, I heard a lot of people on podcasts talking about how they've done this before on the Kayabab and they weren't killing anywhere close to the amount of deer that they thought they were killing. And so hopefully at the end of this year, that'll be the same case. That archery hunters are really not taking as many deer as they expected to, uh, as, as they expected archery hunters to take. And, and uh, I mean, maybe continue this. I kind of like the threshold method. I like, I like the fact that uh, they can go unit by unit and stuff like that and dissect exactly what that unit needs and its capabilities. But the only thing I don't like about it is that they're, you know, they could move an entire unit to a draw. And I don't know, with the fluctuations with seasons and years and all that, um, long term wise, does that mean we're going like once a unit goes to a draw, is it always going to be at a draw or are they going to reopen it back to o over the counter later on? You know what I mean? Like these are questions that nobody ever asks is if, if it is moved to a draw, is it permanent draw only or is it until that unit rebuilds its populations to the a sufficient amount that the game and fish thinks to where they could open it up for over the counter again. You know, I hope that would be the case that they would be able to do that, but uh, we really don't don't know. We haven't met. We have, no one's really discussed any of that. Okay, let's go over here and do a little comparison. This is the 2020 to 2021 uh, Arizona Game and Fish hunting uh, regulations here, and the yellow is what is closed out this year. All right, this is these are the units that have been closed completely. The green right here is units that are at 80% or greater. So 2A, B, and C are at 80% or greater of their harvest capacity in that unit right now. This is all in 2022, okay? So like I said before, these are the nine units that have been closed down. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see, because Game and Fish had already closed some of these seasons right here because they were suspecting of the harvest being heavy in these units. And they were right. So you can see that you know 3B never had a later season. It was always just the early season. Um, the same thing with some of these right here with 5A and B. Um, 6A did have uh, a, a January hunt, but that won't be happening this year. Uh, 6B um, did not have any other hunts later on in the year. Uh, 7 did not have any hunts later on in the year and nine did have hunts later on in the year. So at the most, honestly, we're losing, I mean, 6A, unit nine, um, unit 24A, definitely losing 24A and 27, unit 27. You know, some people might be like, oh, that's a lot of units or a lot of hunts being closed down, but in reality, I mean, we're only losing three units that had later season hunts besides the early season. So that's really not that bad, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, as I said before, these green sections right here are the units that are at 80% or more. You got two of them up here and one of them up there. So there you have it. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. We'll be happy to answer you or try and find the answer out for you and uh, if we don't know it ourselves. But I hope you learned something in this video. I hope Arizona archery hunters know that it's not a death sentence yet and that nothing 
is really out of control. We're only at like 23% of our total harvest being uh, taken this year so far. And I feel like the way, I know there's going to be deer harvested, more deer harvested this year. We might only hit 1,200. I don't know. We might only hit 1,200, 1,400 deer being taken, which would be radical <laughs> because last year they said that we took over, over 3,500 deer in their estimates. So that'd be really, really cool. It's going to be really cool to see where we end up this year uh, with over-the-counter archery on January 31st and see what the numbers really are and how many deer are hunters really taking. Because I've gone through a historical, uh, the historical numbers for the last 20 years for over-the-counter archery. I've added them all up. I've taken the averages. And on average, for the last 20 years, Arizona archery hunters have taken... 1,200 deer, 1,200 deer a year, okay? That's the average throughout the last 20 years. And we're halfway to that number, so who knows? We might be at 12, 1,400 deer, and that would be a radical drop in the estimates of what the Game and Fish thought we were taking. But again, it could go the other way where we harvest all of the deer and more. You know, if we keep having a lot of these units that are staying open when they've already met their quotas, then that might come back to bite us, you know. So who knows? Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. God bless.